Hello and welcome to Vilika's Place. My name is Eva and today I want to talk about my bullet journal journey. Excuse me, I want to interrupt this video because as I was editing it I realized that it turned out um, too long. So I decided to split it into three parts. In the first part you will see my first uh, bullet journal. Then the second part will include flipping through my current bullet journal. The third and the last part will include uh, uh, planning my month of August. You are currently in the second part of the video. Don't forget to subscribe uh, so you don't miss uh, other parts of my bullet journal journey. Now let's continue with the rest of the video. Here is a notebook uh, which is from IKEA. They have the same notebook but with a different pattern on it. Because this one I got uh, a couple of years ago. I will reposition uh, the camera and we'll get through flipping the pages of both of these books. Let's jump into my current bullet journal. It started as a sketchbook. So there is a, quite a big part of it uh, that has uh, drawings on, in them. And I will definitely show them, but in another video, because I feel that this one is going to be a quite long one. So let's start with the page where um, I test my pens, so the, the one with an X is actually I don't have that pen anymore. So um, the main reason why I really like this notebook is because it lays flat and it's easy to use and uh, it doesn't have any, um, any lines or squares or anything. I made like a front page oh. so I would know that here my bullet journal starts. Here again I have the key, which is uh, very similar to the one we seen uh, before. I just added a task cancelled, because sometimes it happens. Here we have some lists, again we have a Witcher Saga here, uh, some future projects, um, the series I'm currently watching, and here was my first uh, month, and I... Um, took the idea also from some other YouTuber <laughs> to make a, a front page of every month. So here we have a page where I tried to count my budget and there is a tracker page and I did once again a, a similar uh, habit tracker uh, to the ones I used before. I tried to make a mood tracker, but it didn't work out for me, maybe because I used uh, not enough colors. <laughs> it doesn't look really nice, I guess. And here I had uh, uh, a list of my monthly favorites. So that's basically a place where I write down the things that I really loved that month, so I could make my blog post. Here are my dailies, and I tried to... Uh, to be more consistent with them, so that my whole spread would look um, nicer. Uh, there I started my gratitude log, and this was the first time I tried to track my sleep. There we have more dailies, and then I decided that I don't like how uh, this type of uh, dividing looked like. This is the spread which I really like and it really looks nice. I guess I will be using it more in the future. And there I tried another uh, design. I just continued the pattern from my washi tape. And it also looks quite interesting. And on this page I had some space left so I just made a list of movies to watch. Here I have my favorite page so far. Uh, we have a habit tracker here. Uh, there I did uh, my monthly favorites box again and uh, there I started uh, 
tracking my stats on my social medias. Uh, here I tracked my sleeping again. And here we have uh, mm, my dailies. And I made uh, uh, my boxes a little bit smaller because it's summertime and I don't have that much things that I want to do in my day. So I made them smaller and it actually works really fine for me and I don't have really a lot of blank spaces. Uh, so that is it for today's video and I really hope that you enjoyed it and uh, if you did uh, as usual be sure to uh, subscribe for more uh, videos from me and also leave me a comment and uh, maybe press that like button. <laughs> These little things make me really really happy and I'm really thankful for them. <laughs> Remember that there will be another part of this video, so be sure to come back. So I will see you really soon and just have a nice day, bye!